let's go ahead and let's finish uh, finish this up, wrap it up, finish putting the materials in this scene. So what I'm going to do now is these interior wall pieces. So I'll, for example, I'll come over here, select this interior wall. Uh, actually, it's called EXT wall B. So I'm going to go find EXT wall B, and here we go. And the material that I'm going to place for this one, let me see here. Uh, I'm going to go with exterior wall A1B. Let me actually do a search just for exterior wall. I'm going to apply the warehouse exterior wall A1A diffuse. Yeah, that's the one I'll use right here. So this one right here. We've actually used this uh, texture or whatnot before. So what I'll do here is simply go to Bump Specular and I'll go to the bump map which is going to be this one right here let me go to the diffuse map yes generate alpha from uh, grayscale is turned on which is good there's a little piece in here that we need to go ahead and set up as well so let's find exterior wall D which is down here here's the diffuse and here's the bump fix the bump We'll go to the fuse, generate alpha from grayscale. There we go. Now let's take this wall piece that's in here. I'm going to go with a bump specular for that one. And I'm looking for interior wall or int wall H, which is going to be this one. Place the bump. Let's take the fuse, generate alpha from grayscale. We need to fix the bump as well. So I'll take the bump, I'll hit fix now. Now, there's these little broken pieces of rebar inside the wall right here. So we're going to take that and set that up. We'll just use a regular diffuse for that. And uh, so let's look for something called rebar. So here's the diffuse. Place it there. And boom, that's done. That just adds more detail to the broken wall. Okay, so let's take the actual wall here. And the wall is using pretty much the same materials that we used on the outside walls. So if we go over here, these walls are using pretty much the same material. Um, exterior wall 309. Let me see this one over here. 309 and 275. So we can use actually the same uh, materials and recycle them. So what I'll do is let me close out that search, or I'll keep the search. Do a search for exterior wall. Um, where is 309 is right here. Apply that there. And a 275, I'll drag that on top of the second one, which will take care of the second floor walls right there. Since the material is already set up, I don't have to set up any textures and waste any time. Okay. Now, I do have these decals on the walls. If I select this kind of wall piece right there, I'm going to go to transparent, cut out. I could go for bump specular or bump diffuse. Let me try bump specular. Uh, what you want to do here is do a search here for decal wall damage and we're gonna get the B so get decal wall damage B diffuse and the bump basically what this does it creates these really cool kind of textures of damage on the wall which makes the scene look a little bit more convincing now the specularity is kinda of high don't worry about that we'll fix that later right now we don't have any lighting in the scene so it'd be kinda of pointless to adjust the shader with no lighting so let me go here. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of these decals. So I'm going to fast forward the video since this is pretty repetitive and uh, get this done. So now let's do these walls. For example, this big gray wall here, we're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and apply a bump specular uh, material to that. We're going to do a search for int wall. And the interior wall that I want to use is this one called int wall D100. So I'll apply that to the diffuse. I'll apply the bump, fix the bump. I'm going to go to the diffuse and um, generate an alpha from grayscale. Now for this guy over here, um, I might actually just go ahead and use the same uh, material. So let me see if I can get away with that. I'm going to come over here and grab the interior wall D100 material, drop it on top, and there we go. That worked. I'm going to take this guy that's right here, this wall. I'm going to go with a bump specular. And I'm going to grab the interior wall. I believe that's I. Could be J. A little bit hard to tell right there. 
I think it's I though. I'm gonna take the I diffuse, the I bump. Yeah, this is the correct one. It's I, not J. And I'll take the diffuse here and generate an alpha from grayscale. Right? Then we have this kind of inside part of the bricks right here. That's gonna be a bump specular. That's interior wall J, so I'm gonna grab the J variant. Plug in the diffuse and the bump, fix the bump. And you probably guessed it. We'll go to the uh, diffuse and generate an alpha from grayscale. All right, pretty cool. Nice, looks awesome. Okay, so down here everything's looking pretty good. We got to do this wall as well. Um, this wall uses the it's called D200, but you know what? We can probably use the D100 material on that. Yeah, and that looks uh, that looks good. Okay, cool. So again, recycle as many materials as you can to optimize performance as much as possible. So it looks like everything in the scene has materials applied to it, textures and things. If I missed anything, I'll just later on apply the correct textures and materials. For now, I'm going to say that everything looks like it's correctly applied. We've got all of our materials. And if I go ahead and turn on lighting, it's not going to look very good because we don't have any lighting. So the next step in working on our next gen environment is working with lighting. Lighting is extremely important. If the lighting is pretty bad, uh, your scene will look pretty bad, no matter how good your textures and materials and shaders look. So I'm going to end this video here, and in the next one, we're going to go ahead and get started with next gen lighting techniques inside of Unity 3.